In the last video we talked about the factory method pattern. If you have not seen this video, I will definitely suggest you to watch that video to understand this video which is the abstract factory method pat abstract factory pattern. Otherwise if you already know what factory method pattern is then also it is fine. Now let's dive into the abstract factory pattern and see how it is different from the factory method pattern. So now if you had seen my earlier videos or if you know about the factory method pattern, factory method pattern is a creational pattern which is used to move the logic of creation of objects from client to the service. Now we will see how abstract factory pattern differs from factory method pattern. So this is the diagram we saw in the last video which was for the factory method pattern. Now what will we change, what was the requirement of this abstract factory methods? There is not a big change in the requirement. The major change in the requirement is that earlier we were just determining the delivery method car, ship, truck in this example. So just to recap a bit, this is a logistic factory which is inherited by road logistics, C logistic and these are actually creating the objects of the delivery method types either car or truck in case of road logistic, ship or board in case of C logistic. The client is calling the create factory to get one of these factories and then finally calling the get delivery methods to get one of these methods. So this we saw in the factory method pattern video. Now what will we change in the abstract factory method? Now the, ma the major change which has come is that instead of just the delivery method, now we want an associated object with it also. So a need came that we somehow want to do another kind of such creation of object. It is not just related to one object, but it is a kind of related object that we want to do. So it is possible uh, now taking from this example to understand it better, suppose you also had to determine what kind of box your things would go in. Now these boxes would be different for each of this delivery method. So for example ships, now ships will have containers but a car cannot have containers. A truck may have big boxes but a car cannot have big boxes. So you can see that there is some kind of relation between the delivery method and the storage boxes which are being used. So what we want to do, we want to create these two objects in sync with each other and the client does not need to care about it. That's when the abstract factory comes into the picture. So basically it allows you to create two related kind of objects in the same factory rather than creating a different factory. Now how, how will we do it? Let's see in this. So let's suppose we create a storage interface. It will have methods like get storage, get charges and it has some objects like box, big box, container. Now what will change? Now we do not want these different these factories to be different because road logistic factory can deal with the car and truck and it can then now have the logic for these kind of objects also. So what we would do, we would introduce a new function to this logistic factory and we'll call it get storage. Now what do we have to do in the client? The client would now just have to make another call to the get storage also. So it will have the road logistic already and we would introduce another function in this get storage on the base of type. So we are taking the type from the client. So what will happen now? The client will now create the factory road logistic, C logistic and this factory would then give it the related objects be it the box, big box on the basis of the type it gives using these two methods get delivery method and get storage type. These will be used to create the two different projects which are required and then the client will do whatever it wants to do with those objects. Now let's see this with the example of the code. Now as we saw on the whiteboard, now we'll discuss about the abstract factory pattern. So now instead of just uh, the get delivery method function like we were talking about in the factory method. Now this code is from the previous video factory method pattern. If you have not seen it, see it, you will know that what we are doing here. If you are not, I'll tell you in brief that this is a logistic factory that we have created. This is an interface in that we have a function called get delivery method. There are two different types of factories we are using ground logistic factory like we talked about on the whiteboard and they are implementing this get delivery method functions. Now what we are doing is we are now introducing another function to return two objects which the client might want. So it will have the get storage method function also in this. Now this function would be implemented by both the logistic factories. Uh, so it will do if type is one. So if the type is basically car and a box, it will return new box. If the type is 
truck then we can have a big box something like that just just uh, normal conditions now the how will the client look like in this case the client will do it will sim simply do the exactly the same thing it will get the delivery factory it will get the delivery method it will also get the storage method so storage simply it has to do is just factory dot get storage method and it does not have to introduce any new code in this client ever whatever changes we just have to make the changes in the factory itself we don't want to make any changes in this client code so similarly it will do storage dot whatever function it wants to call and it will call so as you see that we just introduced just one this new function on the abstract factory pattern so basically we are creating two different objects these are two different objects but they are related to each other in somehow that car can have a small ba box truck can have a big box a ship can have a container so introduce these kind of things as you can see that we can use the existing factories we do not need to create any new classes that's where the abstract factory come into place it cannot be two that it is also possible that there are more than two uh, objects which are related to each other so we will just do that it is just that more than one basically objects which are related to each other which we want to create and we on the basis of some conditions which we do not want in the client so that's what abstract factory is see you in the next one